what she does. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing our very first performance mod on Shorty. Starting with the basics and working our way up. So I went ahead and picked up a SMB cold air intake. Now I know these are pretty controversial. Some people will tell you that they're just a hot air intake. They don't actually gain you any performance or MPGs. But personally, I've always really liked to install them. Not only because I think they do add performance and MPG, but obviously they look freaking awesome compared to stock. It really dresses up that engine bay, but also it's a good base mod, right? You do an intake, you do an exhaust, you do a tune, you do headers, you do a cam. They all build off of each other and add performance. And once that engine is actually needing a lot more air, it's going to have the intake to do it. So I've actually already went out and got our first baseline run with the truck being lowered on the 22s and on e85 so we're gonna go jump to that see what we run there we'll get back here get this installed and then we'll see if we actually do gain any performance here we go just gonna let off the brake and jab it that seems to be the way it launches best stock tune let's do it So I think this is a good looking engine bay and for whatever reason, I really enjoy the GMT 900 engine cover. But if we pop it up, you can see just how many baffles this intake system has. Look at that thing. It runs the entire length of the engine near about. Another one right here, obviously, and it's just boring under here. So a nice intake is going to, one, make it more flashy, look a lot cleaner, but also should produce a lot better sound without having all these crazy baffles. And there's only one 8 mil coupler holding this thing on. The rest we can just pop free. Remove our crankcase ventilation hose, gently pull it out, pop it free. We'll have to disconnect it down there, but we'll wait till we get all this other crap out the way. Let's go ahead and disconnect our MAF sensor. We can get this out once we remove everything. Just for the sake of making it easier to get out, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one as well. Now she comes. Then your airbox just pops straight up lift it out this crankcase ventilation hose should be one that you just pull the little lever and it will release just like that beautiful so if you weren't sure what i was talking about you basically just pull this this way and it will release it and pull it straight out now we got four 10 mil bolts holding this tray down that we got to remove This is a plug you can install in the bottom or leave it out if you want to. We are gonna install ours, that way it does pull air just like the factory from the fender. That should give us the coolest air, but if you're needing more airflow, you can leave this out. It's gonna be our little rubber guy so that it mounts up to the fender nice and tight. This guy is probably gonna be a little bit of fun and this rubber has literally every little speck of dirt sticking to it. But just work it on like that. Now we'll put the plexi lid and everything on afterwards, of course. Let's go ahead and mount this in the truck. Let's go ahead and try to finagle our new box in here. It's probably going to be a tight fit, but should. With a little bit of love. <laughs> Sit down in there. There we go. And it does come with four new bolts with washers 10 mil as well let's go ahead and get our map sensor off be very careful with this thing because they can be sensitive including the kit for the mass airflow sensor they have what they call a pad and gasket so this guy will slip onto our mass airflow sensor and they can both only go one way this guy should line up just like that and then this should install with the arrow pointed up the tube right 
there. And it does come with new screws and a tool to screw them in with. Actually, I take it back. It comes with a tool to take your factory one out. <laughs> there we go, should be perfect. I definitely didn't think the hose was gonna slide on that easy, so I would install it after you do this because having the hose on there makes this a little bit harder to screw on there. This is a 14 mil. You don't wanna go crazy tight with it and break it. So we're just gonna snug it up. That should be good, just like that. Let's go ahead, slide our intake tube into the air box and then put it on our throttle body. Just like that, everything's nice and loose. We do have to probably cut this and then this has got to snake down and go over that uh, metal pipe and then we'll put our two clamps on it. But she's on there. Well, of course my iPhone ran out of storage, but I got that hose hooked up top and bottom, clamps on them. Not a huge fan of the clamps up here, but it's on there, it's good, it should hold, shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead and finagle our filter in here she's a big boy so there we go let's tighten it down just like that neighbor's bogging on out with his big days above this is more annoying than it should be. That is for sure. There we go. Holy crap. Well, she's on there now. Mm, nice. Immediate swirl marks <laughs> all over the plexi. Clean our engine cover up real nice. Throw it back on there. All right, boys. Well, there she is. Install completed and i think it looks really really good not sure about how i feel on the whole new lid design i mean honestly how often do you take that off probably would have been fine how they used to have it but i do get the idea behind it only thing i really don't care about is this 90 degree plastic fitting that is definitely the weak spot on here i feel like they could spend another buck or two and have this uh already have like the fitting like factory on it and you could just tap it. either way that's probably my least favorite thing but the kit does look really good now it's time to go ahead, crank the truck up, go for a drive, give it some time to adjust, see if it changes the sound, the performance, and if we get any increase in MPG. Let's go ahead and reset our MPG, which 15 is well below average, but we are running E85 right now. We wanna beat 15.5. That is our personal best as of right now, but we are gonna try to beat that right this second. Let's reset everything. Reset, begin, film, off the brake, give it gas, same as before. Let's see what she does. beat our time by quite a bit. Let's see what she does. guys well there it is the proof is in the pudding as far as our quarter mile times on the street we did better there is no denying it that was quite a bit of a difference mile per hour and time so 
I think she is enjoying the new air that she's getting now. And obviously, it looks incredible. I really do like the way that this looks. Uh, once again, not a huge fan of this. Hopefully, it doesn't break over time. But aside from that, this is a really solid kit. And I think it did gain us some horsepower. And obviously, we'll have to update y'all on the MPG if that does go up. If I can keep my foot out of this thing. But, man, it is always good to get you a nice, clean-looking cold air intake on there a proper one not one that's just open box absorbing all the heat coming off your manifolds a proper cold air intake which this is it's drawing air from that fender just like factory but it's got a ton more potential for airflow so anyways i'm gonna quit rambling i'll definitely update y'all in the future on how this thing performs with the fuel economy but as for now like i said proof is in the pudding cold air intakes i'm a believer are you